Hi guys, my name is Carly Rae Jepsen and I am here to answer your questions for Good Morning America's Ask Me Anything. So, we'll see what we got in this little fun hat. Okay, do you think Call Me Maybe would be such a big song? Um, did you think it would be such a big song? And what did you think the hit represents now? I had no idea that Call Me Maybe was going to take off the way it did. I mean, who could predict that? It would be pretty psycho if I was like, this song. <laughs> no. no, but we were all surprised, the writers and myself, and very... Um, I think to this day I feel about it very fortunate um, that something um, connected in that way and I think right now, at least in my set, it represents this sort of like nostalgic, happy memory that we get to celebrate together. Who is your dream collaborator? I mean, I'm, it's scared to say it out loud because he's just like the artist of all artists who I dedicated the loveliest time to actually, but James Taylor. I would just love to sing. Um, you can close your eyes with him one day. That's on my dream list. Next question. Tell us the backstory of how fans started giving you swords and do you keep them? I, um, I don't really know how this trend began. I think someone started, someone once upon a time said that I deserved a sword and whoever that person is, thank you so much because I have received more swords than anyone would ever need. <laughs> I could make a Game of Thrones chair. Inflatable swords, not the dangerous kind, just the joyful ones. <laughs> You're embraced as an icon in the LGBTQ plus community. What does that mean to you? It means everything, pretty much. I don't know how to like properly even um, explain the joy and the feeling of the rooms that I get to be in. It is unlike anything else. Talk about your journey from the loneliest time to the loveliest time. You shared you couldn't have done one without the other. This is true, they are kind of like sister projects or like a package set. When I look at the loneliest time and the space I was in when creating all of the songs for these for these um, sister projects, I, I was definitely it was lonely. It was a true story. And uh, I think we all were. It was like mid-COVID, kind of mid-pandemic and kind of living alone and really like reassessing things. And um, I got into this like really reflective place where I was sort of fascinated about the concept of like what loneliness causes in humans. And, and for myself, I, I would find myself having these extreme reactions. It was sort of exciting. And so when I got it, I kind of hooked into that concept. I wanted to make a whole project about this. But there's the other half of loneliness of like what comes afterwards when you're brave or when you do something you wouldn't expect because you were in a low spot. And I um, I think the loveliest time is sort of like the celebration after the world's reopened up and, and kind of all the lessons that you've learned in that, in that tough go. Uh, at least for me, that's what it's about. Thank you so much. That was very fun. I enjoyed answering your questions and we will see you guys next time.